Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Aurora and today I'm super excited because we are starting our Christmas collection and I've always loved Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year. I'm sorry for the light in my glasses, but I don't know how to get rid of it. I mean, <laughs> every time I move, it's coming back. <laughs> But anyway, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I did some DIY Christmas ornaments. So I went through a lot of DIY on Pinterest and I picked four that I really liked and also that seemed not too hard to make because I'm pretty bad with my hands. I really think that a three years old child can do better than me with his hands. So I really needed something that was easy to make and inexpensive and I really love the way they turned out. So that's why I decided to share it with you guys in case you wanna try and if you have children it's such a fun activity to do together it's easy a little bit messy I still have pen like all over my nails <laughs> but it's really fun to do and it will make them even more special I bought some clear glass ornaments to use for this DIY uh, well here they're already used but it's from Walmart it was so cheap like for 10 pieces it's only $3.98 and I also have some others a little bit bigger from um, Michael's they were so here it's six ornaments and they were $5.99 I think instead of $9.99 so they had a discount so that's why I got them but if you have children or pets they are super easy to break so I actually already broke two just by making them so yeah if you have children or pets take some plastic ones all right so now let's jump into it so like I said, I'm gonna be using these clear glass ornaments from Walmart. Here's how they looked before I painted them and the one from Michaels. So for all my ornaments, I started by taking off the caps. You'll see we're gonna paint them later to give them a more vintage and high-end look. And I also prepared several sticks in a box so then I can put my ornaments on it to dry so they don't get damaged by touching surfaces on the side. We are gonna start with the velvet ornaments. I am using some flocking powder that I ordered from Etsy in different colors like brown, tan, white, red and green and some craft pens in the matching colors. I got them at some at Walmart, some at Hobby Lobby, some at Michaels. You can find them almost everywhere. And I just applied a first layer on my ornament using a paint brush from Walmart. You can see that with this brush, it makes a lot of lines, but we're gonna do two layers of paint, so it's not really a problem and plus the paint will be covered with powder so it really doesn't matter for now so i did this with every color i had and then i put them on the sticks and let it dry for a while once the first layer was dry i applied the second one using a foam brush this time to make it smoother and have more coverage And then once the paint was completely dry, I applied some liquid glue all over the ornament. And then I sprinkled the flocking powder over the glue. And this step was really messy, but super fun to do. And the powder is so soft, so it was really fun to do. Once you're done covering it with powder, you need to press firmly your ornaments in your hand to pat it down and to have like full coverage that you want. And I let it sit for a while just to make sure that the glue was completely dry. In the meantime, I decided to paint the ornament caps. So for that, I mixed a little bit of black paint with some rub and buff in the color antique gold. And I just applied it with a brush. I was mostly dabbing on it because it was applying better than brushing it. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, when everything was dry, I put back the caps on the ornaments. You don't see it here, but I actually brushed the excess of powder on the ornaments just before that. And then I'll just have to add some cute ribbon when it's time to hang them on my Christmas tree. So next, we're gonna do some floral ornaments. I have some old dried floral from Hobby Lobby that I didn't use for a while. It's the German Status Bundle. And I thought it would be perfect to try to do some ornaments out of it. So this one is really simple. I just started to cut some pieces out of it. And then I pushed down the pieces into the ornaments. And I just kept adding pieces until I liked the way it looked. And that's it. Once I was done, I put back the painted caps on the ornaments. And I used this super cute velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby in the color Platinum just to add a more elegant look to it or just to elevate the style. So moving on to our next ornaments, I'm gonna do two different colors, one that is more of a neutral light beige, the paint color that I'm using is called linen or linen, I'm not sure how you pronounced it, and then a brown one that you'll see at the end using the paint color called coffee bean. So here again, this is pretty simple, I applied a first coat of paint on my ornaments with my foam brush. I let it dry for about an hour, I will say, but it actually dries faster than that, so you don't need to wait that long. And then I added a second layer on top of that. And once the second layer was dry, I used some rub and buff in the color antique gold and with a sponge I'm gonna apply it on the ornaments by just dabbing here and here until I achieved a look that I wanted. And I did the exact same process with the brown one and then I just added the caps and that's it. Alright, so now I'm gonna do some that are a little similar than the previous one but that has textured on it. And here again, I'm gonna do one that is more like a beige color and another one that is brown. So very similar to the previous one but we're gonna mix two colors together and also some baking soda for the texture. So first I need to apply the paint on my ornament. It's the color Cool Concrete in the Terracotta collection. And for the second layer, I mix my paint with some baking soda and I cover my ornament with it. I tried at first to use the foam brush but it wasn't mixing really well and it was a mess to apply so I switched it and I found that the regular brush worked much better to use it with this mix. Then I let it dry for a while and once it was dry I used another pen lighter than the previous one. This one is called Adore White and I dab it all over my ornament with a sponge. And 
And last, I'm gonna use a gold pen and a copper one that I mix a little, really just a little. I applied more gold than copper, but you can put more copper if you want, it's just that this gold is really subtle, so I put more than the copper. And I apply it on the ornament with the same sponge. Moving on to our last ornament, it's also going to be textured with baking soda but also we're going to create a dusty look with flour. I really like making this one, it was so much fun. So this time I'm going to mix my pen, a black pen, with baking soda right away. And I'm gonna apply it on the ornament. Once it's dry, do the exact same process one more time. now that's when the fun begins <laughs> so I poured some flour in my plate and I sprinkled it all over the ornament until it was completely covered I let it sit for maybe like an hour or two, not sure. And I took a paint brush to brush all of the excess out of the ornament. I was really hesitant for a long time to decide if I'll leave it like that, because I really liked the way they looked, just with the flower, or if I'll do the last step and add some gold to it. But I decided to give it a try, so in a plastic bag, I put a little bit of the antique gold ribbon buff, I placed the ornament inside the plastic bag and I just rubbed it again and again. That's it for today's video, thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked it and maybe get inspired by my DIY, but let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. It would be great if you could put a like on this video and subscribe to my channel just to help me grow. And on the next video we're gonna do a Christmas haul, I'm so excited, I'm gonna share with you everything that I got and it's gonna be so much fun, so I'll see you next time!